rate of reaction is for mature audiences only. So if you can't stand the heat, stay away from the fire. Should I say, happy fucking game day, Raiders. It's the home opener tonight. The home opener in the Death Star. I know no fans are allowed inside, but fans were everywhere this weekend, all over the new home of Raider Nation. Raiders Girl was on location yesterday, live. Go check out those videos yesterday. If you didn't check them out, she was all over the scene, all around Allegiant Stadium, the four dub video shoot. She was there for the photo shoot with Gorilla Rilla. So check out all that pictures, videos on the Raider Reaction page and be watching the page today because I know she's gonna be popping up periodically live. Ariel, another member of the Raider Reaction hype teams out there as well, our Raider Reaction resident chef. So make sure you check out the page because those two will be popping in and out because it is game day morning we've got a very special Raider reaction morning show for you today a little trip down memory lane we're gonna start in 1979 and we're gonna work our way through the history of Raiders Saints enjoy and let's get that fucking W tonight Second down and nine. Everyone becomes eligible once an eligible receiver touches it. I'm glad you told me that, because I was. Looks like Michelle's lined up in the backfield. It's a new rule. Complete for France, and oh. what a move. Goodbye. Oh, hold on. Catch him. Goodbye. There are no flags down. Is that wild? That happened fast. 319 still left in the game. Cliff Branch, who was a 9-3 sprinter in his days at the University of Colorado, and he gets the running room, you can write it off. He can really motor. Well, it was uh, not anything fancy, just one little outside. Look at that move he put on Eric Feldman. Boy. What a beautiful block right there. Let's see if we can get that guy's number. The oh. man who threw the block. Eric Feldman is, going, is the second-year guy. Trying to recover, but this is the move right there. No, no way close. It was Whittington that has made that block. That's right. Other Arthur Lincoln. Whittington. Now let's see. Breach in the kind of position he was in against Kansas City when he missed this very kick on the field goal that would have tied the game. Actually, he was closer than this by about a yard. Maybe that threw him off. Right through the middle. We're tied at 35 with 319 <laughs> remaining in the game. At one point, New Orleans with a 21-point lead, then Stabler got hot. Good. Now I can go to bed. Uh, uh, wait a minute. I want to give you a gift while we're alone. Uh, it's uh, something just for you. The washer and dryer. Now, come on. Will you be serious? Okay. Uh, close your eyes. Merry Christmas. all the field he can use too. He's sure getting close to that white line right there, isn't he? And how about that one right there? Good thing he stayed on his toes. Yeah. He got back in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about the move he put on Felton, which was absolutely brilliant. He knew where Felton was. He didn't even give him an odd inside and he just totally lost Felton. Breach hits it. This is Wayne Wilson. The rookie from Shepard gets it out to the 31-yard line. 
We're all tied up, 35-35. We want to remind you again, tonight and every night, as long as the situation in Iran remains, ABC News will present a special report every night after your late local news. And ABC News will keep you up to date on the Iranian situation and all the news weeknights on World News Tonight. So stay with our ABC News team. They're doing a whale of a job. Now let's see if Archie, Tony, and Chuck can get it back. And they haven't used Wes Chandler all night. He has not caught a pass. He That's is the number one guy. He has 59 made. coming into tonight's game. Chandler has not caught a ball tonight. Marty in motion. Handoff, Galbraith. Huge hole. And Galbraith, bang, out to the 40-yard line. Quick pickup of eight, eight and a half yards. Second down and one. Falls quickly, five seconds, and allow our station to all along the line to identify themselves. 33, WYTV in Youngstown, Ohio, the best things in life. And if you were to go back, you might look at the long drive by Kenny Stabler who had help on a pass interference call in the end zone by Eric Felton. Moved the ball with 218 left. The length of the field to get Oakland within 14 points. Uh, Somebody called the fumble, and this is Mike Davis. I heard. Oh, no. How about now that? Now this is Ted Hendricks. I don't believe this. Somebody was calling fumble. You uh, saw the ball come out of the hands of Muncie. Coming up with it was Mike Davis. He got the ball downfield to Hendricks, and Oakland is threatening. The Frank, fan, Frank, the fans here are absolutely stunned. Well, I don't blame them. My gosh, I heard that fumble, 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 and he the fumble is trying to change hands. And he did it by his, completely on his own. Nobody even hit him. He Talks about the ball. Stakes. How about this one as he's going? Oh, that's got to be bring, they gotta bring it back, haven't they? Yeah, well, it should have been brought back, but it's being marked at the 13. Oh, well. <laughs> Hendricks made sure, though. Look at Ted. What an incredible football game this has turned out to be. Two minutes, 21 seconds left. Tied at 35, and Oakland threatening. Whittington. Fettersfield made the stop, but not until Whittington had moved to the nine. Again, a three, it'll be second and seven. First down could be accomplished at the three-yard line. Ted Hendricks all of his career Baltimore then Green Bay now Oakland he's always been where the football was interceptions fumble recoveries a moment ago he was there Johnny on the spot he's pretty the lateral for Mike Davis he has 19 block kicks in his career which is an NFL record with points after touchdown field goals and punts pretty tough sit moment for Dick Nolan he saw his face trying to hold himself together well, we're in a very similar situation to the Rams and the Vikings uh, yesterday, except it looks that the Raiders are in a much better position. <laughs> that not, this you've got a scoop. <laughs> That's right, before you get into your overtime. 70 points scored in this game thus far. The most number of points ever scored on Monday Night Football, 1977, Dallas, 42, the 49ers, 35. That's terrific. Now tell me, who were the other two guys that were the most valuable players in the Sugar Bowl besides Manning? I told you, Archie Manning. Yeah, well, that was one. Uh, and they both, they all play for the Saints. I'll give you one. Tennessee. Oklahoma. Tinker Owens and Bobby Scott. Tinker Owens. There That's you go. Right. Tinker Owens and Bobby Scott. Yeah, there you go. All right, here we go. Looking ahead, each team has two timeouts. Second down and seven. The ball at the nine-yard line. The setbacks are Derek Jensen, 31, Mark Van Egan, 30. Van Egan, line of scrimmage, surges forward close to the eight-yard line, hit there by Ray Brown, who plays safety like a linebacker. Do you think heading Jim? to the two-minute warning? And there it is. Two minutes remaining to be played. Tied at 35. Both teams, two timeouts. We'll be back in a moment. Stabler. Cliff Branch touchdown. Cliff Branch oh, was spectacular. He was, well, I won't say bench, but he did not start tonight, but he has been the determining factor for Oakland here in the second half. He certainly has, and Stabler with him, and what a remarkable comeback. This team that held its poise. I go back to what Dandy said earlier. This team knows how to win. The young New Orleans team must learn how to win. I do think it's one of those intangibles that sounds really hokey, but you do have to learn how to do it. A good move by Branch, but the ball was drilled right in there between the two and the one. 
Very crucial third situation, third and five. And now they've given New Orleans something to really shoot for. Breach. Relief etched on his face. That's good. And the Raiders have taken the lead for the first time tonight, 42-35. Coming from the outside, that's working on Clarence Chapman. Into the inside, they just couldn't keep him out of it. The ball was well thrown, a good route, one to the inside. Far from over, 154 remaining. Archie Manning will have a couple of timeouts to work with. Lester Hayes hugging Cliff Branch, Stabler. You know, you get the feeling that Stabler, when they brought Branch into this game tonight, said, well, I'm gonna get Branch off the hook. He's been a great receiver for me for many years, and sure enough, he's been going to Branch all night long. He's been going to him deep in the end zone, and went to him in the end zone three different times, and Branch has really come through for him. I think, Frank, you know, when you see that two tight end situation, that's part of it. Branch is, uh, see there by your card, has caught seven for 126 tonight. That's a heck of a, a game for any receiver. Did you see any question about whether Branch got into the end zone or not? No. I didn't either. I thought he was in. Yeah, he got there. Now, on the previous one, there might be a question as to whether he went out of bounds, but it's over. Forget it. Breach. Kicks off. Taken there by Wayne Wilson. And Wayne Wilson gave the crowd a bit of a thrill as it looked like he was going to break it off, but he's dropped it to 30. That's Cliff. <laughs> okay. Give the credit to Arthur on the block. That's what he's doing. That's right. And that's nice because Arthur did throw a good block for him to spring him over there. Meantime, it's not over yet. Branch has scored his 48th and 49th career touchdowns tonight. That's rather remarkable because he's only playing in his eighth year. Archie's got 147 left. And two timeouts from his own 30-yard line. Galbraith is being dueled there with number 53, Rod Martin, incomplete. Archie, except for that one remarkable throw, an equally remarkable catch by Henry Childs, hasn't succeeded with the bomb either tonight. Nobody threw some good balls in the first half. The second half has just been really a mistake-ridden sort of half as you see him mark off 10 more yards against New Orleans. And you don't make mistakes like that. You wonder why, you know, you say that Especially when you look back, they scored first. Holding, number 65. First down, Robert Woods holding. It'll be first down and 20. That's the story on the clock. Remember, Frank, they scored first in this half, built their lead up to 21 points, and then Oakland shut them off. Twice they've led by 21. But Stabler, four touchdowns on the night, three in this fourth quarter. I, uh, Manning, Galbraith, incomplete. I don't really understand those routes. He's sending five, by, five guys out. Charles goes deep. He's got Muncie kind of trying to go deep. He must be just trying to work some patterns under. That was a first down in 20, so maybe he's trying to pick up half of it. But you've got a game breaker on your side. I think that's important. Wes Chandler, we've talked about him a couple of times tonight. Incredible the way he's been shut off. In the meantime, these fans dreaming of a playoff spot. So elated when they were 21 points ahead. The game seemingly in the bag. In a state of absolute shock, and you've got a feel for it. Didn't work. Inside really. toss to Muncie. That did not fool a whole oh. lot of folks. Oh. Good. Hit there by Monty Johnson. After a gain of about three, it'll be third down and 18. Assuming that they do lose this game tonight, it puts a great deal of pressure on their game next week against an extremely good team that was upset last uh, yesterday. They'll be out for blood because they've got to hang in there with Denver. San Diego. Absolutely. And then there's Los Angeles to be met. They could get by by losing one of these two and then face New, uh, Los Angeles in the final game. New Orleans, excuse, excuse me. me, New Orleans has called timeout. The San Diego, one timeout. The San Diego game next week, from San Diego's viewpoint, as I have indicated earlier, will not change the net effect of the Denver game for San Diego. No, but that's for true. San Diego, it's a matter of a great deal of pride and self-respect. That team had come so strongly and ripped the Steelers 35 to 7. And to be upset by Atlanta, which has had a difficult year, and especially by an NFC team, they'll be loaded for bad. 
Now, these guys right now are what you call in trouble. Third down and almost, I'd say, 17 or 18 yards to go. So you know they're going to try two tries at it, and they may go into the middle again, try to pick up half of it this time, and try to hit two in a row. If they don't, it's going to be too bad. Archie went into a little guidance, moved over to the sidelines, talked with Nick Nolan, I'm sure offensive coordinator Ed Hughes, third down 18. This is what they decided. Went too high. Incomplete, intended for Monty. And now it brings up fourth down with 118 on the clock. Oakland with 31 first downs tonight. New Orleans 18, an NFL record there. 38 by Los Angeles against the Giants in 1966. Got a feel for Dick Nolan, too, who overall has done a really fine coaching job this year. His record of out of seven and seven. But in this topsy-turvy league this year, he's not out of it yet. No one. He's getting closer. And old Flores is using that mathematical equation to say I'm still eligible, too. So don't count me out, either. They're thinking about two losses. One to Kansas City, one to the Jets. One time out for New Orleans. They have a fourth down and 18. I'd say rather desperate. Stack over to the left. They'll hang it up very high. Hope for the best. And the flag goes down. Incomplete, but again, as Don said, a flag down, line of scrimmage. That's what they call, what do they call it, Big Ben down here? Offside, Offside Oakland, so we'll have another shot. One well, ten, one time out. As Roger Staubach would say, it's a Hail Mary situation. <laughs> Well, with this five yards will help them a little bit because now they can move into more conventional sort of route. They now try to pick up 13 yards instead of the 18. That five does make a difference. Offside so, on the defense, number 90. You could look to a guy maybe like Charles coming across the middle. It appears that Oakland's going to give them certain things. They're going to try to protect against the big bomb here with a minute and 10 seconds to go. Willie Jones was the eager Oakland Raider offsides. Fourth down, 13, 110 remaining. New Orleans with one timeout. They stack up Rich Marty, Chuck Muncie, and Wes Chandler to the left. And coming in was number 90, Willie Jones. The party. Manning goes down. It's Oakland's football. They say that all good things must end. Eat your heart out, you Permian. They call oh, it. Here comes denied. Willie Jones, the rookie from Florida State. Getting away from the block of J.T. Taylor. And down goes Manny. Too much time, though, Frank. He just, uh, you know, that's asking him to hold him out about five seconds. It's a little bit too much time. Oakland, in my opinion, just came back the second half and would not be denied. I really think the key was when you saw Kenny Stabler get up off the mat, come back and say, hey, look, this thing is not over. It's got to have an effect on the rest of the guys in that huddle. They put them together. They brought Especially it back. Especially when he was shaken up. That's Apparently out of the game. New Orleans can stop at one time. Booker Russell gets the call. His job, just hang on to it because they'll be trying to strip it. Uh, Russell down to the 17-yard line. New Orleans will use their final timeout. And we can tell you, our executive producer of ABC Sports is Rune Arledge. ABC's NFL Monday Night Football produced by Dennis Lewin <laughs> and directed by Jeff Forty. Our technical director, Bill Morris. Associate Director Rob Finer, who is celebrating his 29th birthday today. Happy birthday. Club technical thing. manager, Coach Goldsrain, our unit manager, Bob Cravelli. So Tufts and research man Jerry Klein, who's been thumbing the books over here tonight. Our spotter Steve Mazika. So tough for Dick Knoll. He won't sleep tonight. Well, it was, a, I think, a tremendous disappointment and letdown for the whole team. As you saw Archie in the beginning of the telecast talk about how much this game meant to them here. Uh, they were really all keyed up for it, and really they just didn't quite measure up to the task. And that's basically it. They had the opportunities several times to protect the big lead. They didn't know how to do it, and they didn't do it. So they go back to the drawing board. They're 7-7 seven, seven right now, and the Rams are one game up. I remind you again, immediately following the local news, as we will continue to do here at ABC, ABC News will bring you an update on the Iranian crisis. Stay with us. The guys are doing a tremendous job. Stabler to the knees. They can riffle off 30 seconds here. Yep. Well, 
Darrow can't say you sang it too early tonight. No, and I thought I sang it well, too. I don't know what Darrow said. I've only missed one time, and that was down in Miami. Archie. Archie Manning looking out of the field. Meanwhile, his counterpart, Stabler, was 26 of 44 for the night. 296 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions. Came off the mat here in the second half to go 10 of 20 for 149 yards and three touchdowns. Tell me, Ken Stabler's washed up. He's as good as they come when he's on. That's it, Dandy. Yep. See you in San Diego. You got it, pal. Pittsburgh and Houston coming up next Monday night, followed by San Diego and Denver on the final Monday night of ABC's NFL Monday Night Football. Again, the final score, Oakland 42, New Orleans 35. Be sure to join us next week for ABC's NFL Monday Night Football, the Pittsburgh Steelers against the Houston Oilers from the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. Travel arrangements made through and a promotion will be paid by United Airlines. More people fly United to Hawaii than any other airline. This has been a presentation of the leader, ABC Sports, bringing you exclusive coverage when the world comes to America this February for the 1980 Winter Olympics. Rep. What time is it? Well, what time is it? Give me the... What, what, wait a minute. Not for me. I won't accept that collect call. First quarter. Raiders accept the collect call. Da -da 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 -da. Haas. The Tim Brown 12 yards. Raiders lead 7 nothing, Leaving over 500 for the first time this year. Haas fired up, Tom. Yeah, you're going to see as Everett gets back here to, face, uh, to pass the ball. Look at Winston Moss takes a beeline from the outside to go and get him. And here, here Nolan Harrison brings down Everett on a good inside move. Jim says no more of that. So the Saints defense got to pick up the slack. Hosteller hit by Ronaldo Turnbull, the Pro Bowler a year ago. Tyrone Hughes picks it up. We've seen him go in the end zone before this year. 42 yards, touchdown. It's a 10 to 7 game now. The Saints within three. Yeah, you're going to see here Harvey Williams come wide open over the middle of the football but field, but Jeff Hosteller has no way to get the ball to him under way too much pressure. Then Haas looking for his favorite receiver, Tim Brown. What a leaping catch for 43 yards. Four plays later. Haas to the rocket. All of a sudden becoming a part of this offense. 17 yards beats Jimmy Spencer. 17-7, the silver and black. Six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. This time, it's Hostetler looking for Tim Brown. He'll fire at good protection. And 30 yards looking to make the move on Carl Lee. He and the ref go flying over the cone. It's a touchdown. Haas, 308 yards passing. 22 of 28 through three of them. Two to Timmy Brown. 24 to 13, 340 to go in the game. Why are the Raiders throwing? Haas is picked off by Winfred Tubbs, the rookie's first career interception. And so the Saints of second life turn small from Jim Everett. They miss a two-point conversion, but the Saints now pull it within 5, 24 to 19. The Raiders go three and out after the Saints don't recover an onside kick. It's one last chance, but Nolan Harrison with the sack. Harrison, Raiders. Over 500. They're looking at a Monday nighter at San Diego a couple of weeks down the pike. The Raiders beat the Saints 24 19. Game of the day, six in a row winning Saints against only eight and two, only losing to Denver. The Raiders. Jeff Blake taking the field, and the Saints have a chance to beat a big time team. But oh no, it's Lance Johnstone falling on Blake, and Blake is in pain immediately. Turf, look at this. Yeah, and this hit didn't look that bad when we initially saw it, but you can see right there, uh, Jaron Stone rolled up on his right ankle, and you could tell that J uh, Jeff was in visible pain. Fracture and dislocation of his right foot. That means Aaron Brooks traded from the Packers during the summer. Second-year man from Virginia, and his first pass as a Saint picked off by Charles Woodson. But you know what you could say for Brooks? He is a quick learner. But we'll get back to that in a moment. Because <laughs> Rich Gannon took a long time to learn. And is there anybody playing more consistent, sharp football, a quarterback, than Rich Gannon? He escapes. He runs. He throws to Andre Bad Moon Rise in 34 yards. 10-0. There it is against Jim Haslett. Now look at Gannon here, Tommy. Yeah, and just watch how Gannon makes these decisions. He's gone. He takes the three or four steps back. He gets out of the pocket there. He's going to scramble for a big first down in a big game. Then two plays later again, he gets back to throw. He makes a little move to his right, makes a quick decision, runs for another important first down down in the red zone. 55 carries. He was the Raiders' leading ball carrier today, although like Monday night, Zach Crockett, king of the wild frontier, gets in the end zone for John Gruden. And it's 17-0 Oakland. The Saints hoping 
that Brooks is a quick learner. This is his second NFL pass to Willie's Jackson. 53 yards. Get in there, Willie. Touchdown. Don't be showboating. Get in. 17-7. The lead is down to 10. Now, the Saints defense has made some plays and has made a game of this. 17-13 now in the fourth quarter. Well, you two, saw the two Saints at the bottom of the screen. They ran upfield. You saw the shovel pass. Doesn't usually work in the AFC. Run to Napoleon <laughs> Coffin for a score. But it's in an NFC stadium, <laughs> Tom. And then Gannon to Tim Brown. How good is Tim Brown, please? Pretty good. He's, he continues <laughs> to be great. 21 yards, 24-13 Raiders. Then king of the wild frontier, Zach Crockett. Another touchdown, 31-16. Minute 13 to go. Brooks says, you know what? This quarterback thing in the NFL is kind of fun. Here's Willie's Jackson. Now the down nine, 31-22. Minute 13 to go. So uh, let's, I mean, I mean, I mean, why go for two now? You just kick it to go down by eight. Incomplete. Now your team's deflated. Onside kick, what you're trying doesn't matter. Again, there's no assurance you're going to get an onside kick. But down eight, you got the crowd. You maybe get a miracle. You maybe get the ball, but none of those things happened anyway. And the Raiders, who got back in the wee hours of the morning in Oakland on Tuesday morning, had an early start in New Orleans on Sunday. Show what they're made of and winning a huge game against the Saints. As for New Orleans, Ricky Williams out last week. And this week, Jeff Blake. Ed Werder caught up with him on the field. I got slanted on it, you know, and uh, I mean, it just fell right where he needed to fall on it to break it, you know. I'm disappointed on it. I'm very disappointed, you know, but it's nothing I can do about it, but just try to help Aaron get um, prepared as possible and uh, uh, just call me Coach Blake. On third and ten, Breeze has time. And the ball's out. A Raider got there first. Let's see if he recovered it. Reese had time, and Bruce Irvin forced the fumble. And coming away with the recovery, Ward, the rookie from Illinois. Well, watch your left tackle here up, up against Khalil Mack. Completely dominates him. But this is what the Raiders' defense adds on the other side. Bruce Irvin fighting off the tackle. Gets a sack, and the, and the Saints have a t giveaway, and the Raiders come away with a big takeaway on the first series of the game. A veteran quarterback trying to respond to an early sack and fumble as Breeze flips the, for the screen to Ingram. A big running area. Murray has it. Latavius Murray bouncing into the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. On second and five. Sideline throw. Right on target to Willie Sneed. And he's spinning his way out of the 10 yard line. These are the type of plays you expect. Willie Sneed just out here running a go route in and out. Gets Sean Smith to commit. And I have seen Drew Brees make that throw so many times. And this is just a great catch. Good run after the reception. If you're asking who Willie Sneed is. People pay it. Breeze to throw. Touchdown Saints. It's Willie Sneed. Of course it is. Extra pressure coming. Carr gets away. Carr gets the first down. Leaping through the air. Devontae Harris over there. Chris, you made a point about Derek Carr's eyes when he was coming out of the tunnel and how intense he was. Most quarterbacks just take out this out of bounds and maybe get the first down, but no way would Derek Carr. Knew he had another yard to get, and that is just a wow play by a young quarterback. Gain of 25 on that play. Breeze, end zone. The catch is held on to. Brandon Cooks has a touchdown. Well, Chris, this is the fast break nature of this offense that I'm talking about. Quick scores. You get a stop on defense. All right, how many plays was that? Was that drive? About five or six plays. But watch him thread the needle. Brandon Cooks in the slot right here. The littlest guy receiver on his team. Nice move on DJ Hayden. And 
Just a pinpoint accurate throw by Drew Brees for the touchdown. <laughs> Brees. On the run. Brandon Cooks. It's going to be 98 yards for a touchdown. Let me tell you what, Brandon Coast can fly. And we all know this. The Raiders know this. And yet, Ken Norton decides to put his corner, Sean Smith, man to man. And you cannot do this as a corner. Open up the gate, a free run down the sideline. And I mean, I know he's talented and he's tall. There is no way he's keeping up with Brandon Cooks. And we talk about explosiveness. It's back here in New Orleans. You talk about taking the top off a of defense. A six foot four receiver. Handoff. Jamez Olawale. Touchdown Raiders. Jalen Richard. He's loose. Jalen Richard. It's going to be a touchdown Raiders. 75 yards. What did I tell you earlier, Chris? When these two runners get in the game, the offense speeds up. Now, this is some good running, some bad tackling, but he gets to the second level, and two safeties, two defensive backs, I mean, have an opportunity to close this hole for him, and he threw it like a arrow. Watch this. Laurinaitis gets blocked in the middle of your screen by the center, Rodney Hudson, and then right here, three guys. He threw them in a heartbeat. Next thing you know, he's hitting his head on the goalpost. An unbelievable run. Carr. End zone. Catch. Yes, Amari Cooper converts. Breeze. The pocket collapsing, but he gets rid of it. Willie Steve. The ball's out. Can a Saint get there first? Yes. It's Michael Thomas. Come on. What are we seeing here? Big play after big play in this football game. Cadetta receiver. Breeze throws. End zone. Touchdown, Cadet! Catch made. Seth Roberts spinning into the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders! Giving up the extra point tie. Going for two. Par for Crabtree. He has it! He held on to it! For the win! From 61. No. And the Raiders win. Had, Del Rio's gamble comes off. Had plenty of leg too, Chris. He drilled it. And it just drifted wide left. We hope you enjoy that little spin down memory lane. A little, little uh, montage of classic Saints ass whippings. And we're going to add one more to that tonight. Until then, I'll see you the second the final whistle blows for my live post-game reaction. Until then, I'm out. Oh, wait a second. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you join the official group of Raider Reaction, the Raider Reaction Empire. Come to the dark side. Like and follow our new page, Reaction Sports. Check out our sponsors, RaiderNationStore.net, Moto slash Sports.com, and of course, most importantly of all, become an official supporter of Raider Reaction. Help us to continue to paint the world silver and black. Help us to continue to do what we do, bring you the content that we bring you, do the things that we do that make you feel the way that it makes you feel. If you like the silver and black freshness that we bring you, become an official supporter. And once a month, on the first Thursday of every month, we get back to you with the Reaction Shop Raffle, myself, the sponsors, Raider Reaction. We have a nice raffle and we give back to all of our supporters, but you gotta be a supporter to get in. Plus, it's got other perks and shit too, so do that, most importantly. Until tonight for the post-game reaction as I celebrate with Raider Nation as we go 2-0. Until then, I'm out. Peace, love, Raider Nation. Ah!